Welcome to Money News. I'm Kathleen Walter. With us now are the co-founders of the organic tea company, Honest Tea, Seth Goldman and Barry Nailbuff. They're the co-authors of a brand new book called Mission in a Bottle, The Honest Guide to Doing Business Differently and Succeeding. And gentlemen, welcome. Great to be here. Well, you began Honest Tea 15 years ago with little more than a tea leaf of an idea and a passion to offer organic, freshly brewed, lightly sweetened bottled tea. And today, Honest Tea has exploded into a national brand sold in more than 100,000 grocery stores, restaurants, and convenience stores all across the country. A truly incredible story. Looking back, how were you able to win over consumers with a less sweet tea, Seth? Well, it really started with just having a different product. Um, the world does not need another beverage. Uh, the shelves are full. Um, so for us, it was really important to have something different, meaningfully different, and, and from our point of view, you know, obviously uh, better, having an advantage against what else was out there. And so just starting out as a less sweet drink was a really um, important uh, way to, for us to grab that foothold. And the book is full of panel illustrations which show the evolution of Honesty as a company and the hardships faced by a startup striving to find its own way. In one of the panels, it shows you, Barry, on your knees begging a beverage distributor to pick up your product. Did you really do this? Everything we say is true. The book is honest, we're honest, and the fact <laughs> is that getting distribution in New York City was a make or break opportunity for us. Um, so yes, and fortunately, uh, he took our proposal. And Seth, you note in the book that you created Honest Tea with the same honesty and integrity used to craft your products. Can good guys really succeed in business? I, I certainly hope they can. I believe they can. And, and I hope our story shows that they can. Um, it, it really it was important, you know, for us, there was a lot of pressure to become like everyone else. <laughs> And um, for us, staying um, true to what we believed in was actually our competitive advantage and ultimately what made us valuable uh, to the Coca-Cola company. Yeah, Barry, it's been about five years since the Coca-Cola company first invested in Honest Tea and about two years since Coke purchased the remaining portion of Honest Tea. How did you both deal with the criticism that you sort of sold out here? We like to think that Coke bought in rather than us selling out. Mm -hmm. and the fact is that there's so much of our mission that's inside the bottle. So it's less sweet, it's healthy green tea with antioxidants and flavonoids. So if we can sell a billion bottles rather than a hundred million bottles, we end up doing ten times our mission. Mm -hmm. And Seth, the book offers a wealth of insights and advice to entrepreneurs and would-be entrepreneurs. What is your best advice to them? What can they learn from your success? Yeah, I think for certainly for for me personally, it's been build something you believe in, not just something you believe in 50% of the time. Build something you're passionate about. Because going into it as an entrepreneur, you're always going to have the disadvantage. You're not going to have the resources. You're not going to have the information. You're going to have cost disadvantages, distribution disadvantages. Pretty much everything um, entering is going to be at a disadvantage. So the one advantage you have is, is a belief that you can inspire your employees, that you can engage your customers and your consumers in a way that they, if you do it right, will care about you in a way they wouldn't care about another product. And Barry, with today's political and economic climate, do you think that the age of entrepreneurship has passed or do you think it can be fixed? Well, I think we're seeing it everywhere that this is, when, when people don't have other opportunities, this is the time to take the gamble on yourself, to bet on your ideas. And the opportunities that exist for new businesses unbelievable today. And Seth, according to the NFIB, federal regulations are costing small businesses $515 billion. And in 2012 alone, the Obama administration issued a total of $23.5 billion in new regulatory costs. What impact do you see regulations like this and Obamacare having on small businesses and entrepreneurs? You know, it hasn't held us back at all. We actually, I mean, this is, and this is really the blessing of the American economy. You, for us, you know, we were able to build this business uh, basically you know, with, with very few resources into something and, and the government didn't get in the way. Uh, and so um, we haven't had seen increases in our, in our health care costs as a company and, and we've been able to provide those. So um, I think the free enterprise system is still alive and well here. Mm -hmm. Last question is for the both of you. What is next for you both and for Honesty? Any new exciting projects on the horizon? 
Well, I'll go first. Honest Tea is still in its uh, much, very much the hockey stick part of its growth trajectory. So we launched new products like Honest Kids, and we just have a, brought out a zero calorie line called Honest Fizz, which is a, a zero calorie naturally sweetened soda line. So um, we, we're now growing from success, success to significance to, to, to really um, penetrate the American diet and, and be available wherever beverages are sold. I'm back to my day job as a professor at Yale, and I've started another beverage company, this time to make something that's slightly alcoholic, kombucha. The company's called Kombrucha, and our tagline is, get tickled, not pickled. All right, well, congratulations to you both on your success. Congratulations also on the book. Again, the book is called Mission in a Bottle, The Honest Guide to Doing Business Differently and Succeeding. Seth Goldman and Barry Nailbuff, Thank you both for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching Money News.